All right, in these different setups, we're going to try and figure out what type of um, situation is happening here and what equation goes with it. So the first one, you have you and your best friend are in rolly chairs. Um, draw this really quickly, okay? And you're gonna, you're just sitting there. Oh, that went wrong. You're sitting there. Wow, apparently you're the people from Wally. Okay, and you're sitting there, and now you're gonna push off each other, and you're gonna go flying apart. So you're both gonna go like flying off in different directions. This is my very rough image of this whole situation. Okay, what type of situation is that? Well, this is a explosion problem. How do I know that? Well, originally the momentum was at rest. So if there's ever a situation where everything is at rest either before or after, it's an explosion problem. Because you're at rest originally, the equation is zero is equal to m1v1 afterward plus m2v2 afterward. Okay, now we have two bumper cars. They're going to knock into one another and afterward they're going to be apart. So they were apart before, they were apart afterward. So this is going to be an example of a elastic collision. And the equation for that is m1v1 plus m2v2 equals m1v1 afterward plus m2v2, oops, running out of room, afterward. Um, and it almost sort of looks like the situation. You have two separate objects before and two separate objects afterward. You have two separate things here in the equation and afterwards you have two separate things in the equation. So it almost kind of mirrors reality. Okay, with the baseball and the hornet's nest, before you have two separate objects. Afterward, the hornet's nest is going to be flying off with the baseball stuck inside of it. So this is an example of an inelastic collision. Okay, and the equation there sort of looks like the real world scenario. You have two separate objects before. And afterward, they become one large object. So M1 plus M2 equals, or at times, their total velocity. And this is the velocity for both of them together since they're stuck together. Okay, and here's my pretty horrifying picture of two sumo wrestlers. Um, they're going to run toward each other, and after they hit, they're going to come to a complete stop. Well, complete stop, where everything comes to rest, is your big hint there. This is actually an explosion problem. We're like, is an explosion when things fly apart? Yeah, but in physics, we kind of use the term interchangeably. It could be when things are at rest and they fly apart or when things come together and they end up coming to rest. So we can have here, they're separate beforehand, so M1V1 plus M2V2, and after they hit, they have a total momentum of zero because they're at rest.